Muddy Mo, Muddy Muddy Mo, whoa, hey, Muddy Mo, Muddy Muddy Mo, ping, <laughs> hey, that's a throwback, hey, some of y'all remember that, let's get to it, what's happening, we had a different time, hey, listen, I know the game on and all that stuff, but we prime time, <laughs> Muddy Crypto moving prime time, hello, crypto world, welcome to, <laughs> hello, crypto world, it's your boy, Muddy Mo aka mr bean coming at y'all again with another daily DeFi update degenerate update also known as the DeFi degenerate show all right smart what up what up what up he said we up it's lit hey hey i got the computer working today I, listen i told y'all yesterday i said man i'm gonna I'm a give stream y'all another shot <laughs> you know what i'm saying i said i'm gonna give it another shot and we back here you know what i'm saying like i have told the group I got a hard wire directly from the router. You know what I'm saying? Like, I did every precaution necessary. We going to be lit tonight, man. So, it is what it is. Hey, new time, y'all. New time. Pile it on in. I'm going to wait on you. Listen, new time, bro. I hope we can get some more people active. Y'all know this is the channel, man. What other channel we get to just talk about what we do here today? You know, we don't, we don't have that. So, that's what we bring in the Muddy Crypto Movement. Shout out to the movement, bro. It's been a good day in the movement, wasn't it? Um, a project that we're gonna be talking about coming up. It is on the Phantom Network. Um, shout out to them. They gave the Muddy Crypto Movement a couple whitelist spots. Shout out to my people. Y'all better do right. You know what I'm saying? Get in there, do right. Go on and drop the hammer on them. You live. But shout out to the squad, man. I love that. Now a lot of people seeing. A lot of people seeing. This is where the people gonna come, man. This is. I, hey, I told y'all. I told y'all. Now. We we moving forward. We moving forward. The people say, hey, that's a money mo B. You right, Smog. We hey the people's champ, bro. That's it, bro. We, money the people's champ, bro. This the people's this is the people's show. It is. You know what I'm saying? Where else can y'all come and ask questions live? You know what I mean? It's not an AMA. You know what I'm saying? Like I don't have a speech to give. So shout out Smog for that, man. That's that's a good point. Now, y'all know how I am. Y'all know. It ain't nothing, it ain't nothing you finna change. Y'all know how I am. I, I gotta tell y'all a little, a little story, man. Well, give y'all a little something, a little more of the day. All right. So, um, how many of y'all played Grand Theft Auto before? If you haven't, if you've ever played Grand Theft Auto, one thing that you um that you would notice if you're driving cars, if you hit somebody, like you can hit all these different like civilians and whatever, you know what I mean? Like, um, but what happens is they get up <laughs> just like the, the program is made to do. They get up and they just continue walking, right? Seems like they don't know what's going on. Like, you could do anything. You know what I'm saying? You could run them over. You know what I'm saying? Like, but they always get up and start walking um, just like they don't have a place to go. Like, they don't know what's going on in this world. Um, but I was just thinking about that. And, hey, what up, Dr. Dallas, Money Mo B? Hey, check your deals, bro. Um, but, yeah, so... Uh, just like in Grand Theft Auto, a lot of y'all got to understand it's hard to talk DeFi to other people. Um, they just, it's, they seamless in this world and you can't save them. And that's really kind of what it is. It's people that are just like those Grand Theft Auto characters. Once you hit them, they fall over. They're going to just get back up and go right about their path, right? Something happened. No matter what happened, they got to get up next day um, and go to work. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It's just like, y'all heard the new Kendrick album? He said that, like, look. Mama died, daddy had to go to work the next day. Um, so all that to say, it's a lot of people that you 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 can't with them same people, you can't train them, you can't push them. It ain't nothing you can do. You can tell them, look, I didn't show them the money you done made, show them the gains you done made. It just don't matter. They just that same seamless character, right? But y'all gotta understand we not that. All right, in this space, you know. What we're doing, man, it's gonna change a lot of lives. So, yeah, of course, we yeah, we try to talk to people about this, man. We try to talk to people into this space, but they're not gonna listen. But you cannot let that weigh you down because they all they are is just them Grand Theft Auto characters. They're just gonna get up, go to work, go home. They live a regular life. You know what I'm saying? Like our life is lit. Y'all know that. You know what I'm saying? We have the opportunity to make gains. So don't don't ever forget that, man. You know, uh, Ty Levi Brown, what up? What up? What up? Yeah, we lit. We on tonight. Um, so look, long story short, y'all just make sure that you know um that you don't give up on the space, even though people around you gonna give up on the space, bro. We talk about this, they don't, you know what I mean? So they probably look at us like we're crazy sometimes. So it is what it is, just had to say that. Um, and it's gonna also it's man, listen, it's gonna bring you a little pain too, you know what I mean? Because some people you just know, like, listen, man, I 
I got something right now, bro, that can help you. <laughs> they just gonna be like, no, I don't know. I'm good. I'm just gonna go to work. You know what I mean? And that's cool. That's cool. But you can't hold that. You can't let that hold you back. All right. So, all right, y'all. So, yeah, as always, man, we're gonna jump off with the link tree today. Oh, 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 the main subject of today: how to fix splassive drip and elephant money. We're gonna talk about those three. All right. So now I'm gonna get a tips today. Now, y'all better get listen, Dales. Y'all better tune in. <laughs> they don't like to listen. They can't. Uh, they don't like to listen to you unless you public. So let me let me say some stuff publicly. Maybe they listen. You know what I'm saying? Um, but then we're also going to talk about, obviously, y'all already know, uh, we're very, very heavy on Hex um, and we're heavy on Pulse. So we're going to talk a little bit more about Hex. We didn't get to jump into it yesterday like I wanted to. Uh, so today we're going to jump into it a little bit. So um, y'all y'all buckle up, man. How y'all doing, man? Talk to me, bro. What's the mood? What, what, the, what the lick read? What is looking like today, man? How y'all feeling? How y'all feeling? All right. Um, on the link tree, y'all already see, but at the top, we got piggy bank. Um, we're just doing good right now. We're going to talk about all these as always, man. If y'all have, you know, any contract that y'all want to get, in, y'all have any tools that you need, come look here in the link tree first, bro. It just might be here. You know what I mean? We got Nomics, deck screen and all the stuff that y'all see me go through is here. So, um, you know, everybody coming into the game, need tools and pretty much <laughs> from what I've seen, it's all over the place. So yeah, as always, y'all come check us out here. Also, y'all know it's about the movement. Come check us out in the Muddy Crypto Movement. Listen, I keep telling y'all, bro, you can join one one Telegram group. We lit over here, I'm telling you. Listen, listen, ain't nobody trying to talk about no one contract all day. You know what I'm saying? So we over here making games, bro, giving strategies, no, not financial advice. We just having fun. But, you know, can't, can't say it enough. Uh, links up here in the description. Um, so here's what it is. All right, let's go on to it. Let's see what that nom is looking like. Okay, we got that green in the day. Oh. Uh, it's good when you see that. Listen, when y'all see this nomics, y'all see it when it's green. That's a good thing. That's, that means something good happening. That red ain't so good. So, you know, just a little tip. All right. Let's see. Let's see. Bitcoin pumping up a little bit. Over 30,000 a day. Not bad. Ethereum, uh, 2100. Uh, Binance back over three. 300, $308 a day. Cardano. Look at my Cardano people. So, hold on, y'all. Three, uh, 3% today. Uh, Solana's up. Wow. Okay. Look at the one. Look at the one hex. Hex up six percent today. Is that a good day right now? I think right now, especially with pause, and we're gonna talk about that because I don't know, Ricky. I don't know what you're talking about, Ricky. No, we can't do June, bro. Come on, man. Come on, bro. Uh, but we'll yeah, y'all know we're gonna talk about hex today. Um, we'll look at some more today. Uh, look at polka dot eleven hours. Uh, Tron Trizzy. Look at Trizzy Tron seven seven cent. Um, uh, what else y'all would look at? Kronos, twenty cent. I don't know if Kronos gonna come back up or not. I don't, I don't know about that one. Uh, Monero, one seventy four. All right. Um, what else they got going on today? Uh, oh, Axie Infinity up. All my gamers, look at Axie Infinity up eight percent. All right, a little bounce, a little bounce. That's cool. That's cool. Uh, let me see what y'all talking about. That's a fact. Hey, you watching the DeFi Degenerate Show with Muddy Mo? Make sure y'all hit that, that like. Ain't no freeloading over here. Y'all know how we do, man. Make sure y'all hit that like. Also, real quick, um, if you are new or anything like that, you want to find that link tree I just showed you, all you got to do is take your camera, right? Open up the uh, the camera uh, the camera part of your phone. Take your phone, right? Take Open up the camera. And then you just point it at this little corner. Y'all see that corner in the screen right there? That uh, scan, that barcode? All y'all can do is scan that. It's going to take you right to the link tree. All right, shout out, Smog. Right on for that. Uh, Ty Levi Brown say, I was looking for something to watch. I had to start uh, the, the Richard Hart Playbait video. Then I got the Mo notification. Hey, you in the right place, Todd. You already know, player. Richard Hart ain't talking about nothing. Hey, listen, now, nah, we're going to talk about Ricky, bro. We don't. What is he doing, man? It's like he only appealing to, like, Old single ball guys, you know what I'm saying? Like, bro, let me come on, bro. We don't want to hear from playmates, man. We gotta get some money into this. Come on, bro. Like, that's not gonna bring the money. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's that's the that's joke stuff, Ricky. We don't like that, bro. We don't like that. But let's look at hex, though. Y'all know I like hex. Y'all know how I feel about hex, bro. I'm very passionate about hex. But man, Ricky, we don't want to hear from no playmates, bro. Like, I mean, what are they gonna tell us? Like, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, it's <sighs> Are you a vegan? And what tell us what you think about vegan? And you know, Ricky got a thought on everything. He just brrr, he just rumbling off. You know what I'm saying? And then you could tell Richard Hart one of them dudes, like it don't matter. You know what I'm saying? He think he got it going on and all that stuff, bro. It don't matter, bro. If a chick finds you lame, they're gonna find you lame. It don't matter how much money you got, what you talk about, your your, your, your PP, whatever, bro. It don't matter, bro. You a lame, you a lame. So you know what I'm saying? Like, 
you know, you could tell how he talks. He's real talking around chicks. He didn't ran a couple off. You know what I'm saying? I got money, though. That don't matter. <laughs> oh, man. Y'all know how I ramble sometimes. Don't worry about me. All right. Hex. Hex is better than s- You already know. 12 cents a day. Um, I keep saying this. Buying opportunity. Buying opportunity. We're going to look at Paul Shane again today. And I know it's just a test net, but um, those numbers on there really, really help us kind of see what's going to be happening. Uh, this is how it looks on the weekly. Let's look at the monthly real quick. A hex. Um, and it's a reason I stop here every day again uh, my noobs if you do not have um if you do not have pause sex if you do not have pause and you would know if you did because you would sacrifice if you didn't right now you need to get hex you're going to get a copy of it over on px also smock i ain't forgot um bro i want you to call up today you know if you got time bro a little bit later i'm gonna be sure sh- i'm gonna be brief today so y'all can call up man rap also uh, real quick before i move on uh shout out to the muddy crypto movement i think it's zach in the movement y'all know i like to get different things going on with the show bro it ain't i don't like having just regular shows and you know a 10 minute video and y'all go home that ain't it you know what i'm saying we hit it we hit the chill we hit to kick it so i got zach he's a user man he got a he got a great story man he's got a very inspirational story about DeFi. so y'all know i like to pull people on with me bro that's why i kept it on the stream y'all now y'all got to use it now <laughs> but uh but no anyway so that's hex man shout out to zach um but yeah that's hex so let's see. Is that um if you want to jump on, bro, you can stay in the background for a minute. Uh, all you gotta do is hit the link that's in the chat. All right. Um, so that's the markets. Let's look how let's look at an R neck of the woods. Let's see. It's a beautiful day in the neck. Ooh, y'all see Rose. <laughs> y'all see Rose. I told y'all I fixed it. Y'all know, man. But you ain't fix it. Yes, I did. <laughs> Uh, it's a beautiful day in the neighborhood. This is a beautiful day in the neighborhood. Okay, now, yeah, okay, wow, I can work with this. Hex, twelve cent, like we just said. Um, I would say is a buying opportunity, not financial advice. Piston, oh man, I, I, every day, every day, I tell y'all about piston. Every day, man, same old, same old, bro. Y'all get it, y'all get it. One day, you know what I'm saying? Like, I'm just gonna keep rolling. We gonna sit here and wait on time. You know, my auntie used to always say that. Like, you know, I was my first child. You know what I'm saying? Me and my baby mama trying to hide it. You know what I'm saying? She hiding, trying to really, really hide it. My, uh, my, my auntie, like, I'm just waiting on time, you know? <laughs> so, you know, sometimes people know. So sometimes you got to wait on time. So piston, uh, 1% per day. It's hard to really beat that, y'all. So just keep that in mind. All right. I'm going to tell you how to fix drip today. That's the main subject, right? Uh, drip, 15 hours. Listen, listen. Um. It don't matter if you, you know, know about what's going on with the extra wallets and the whales. Um, you know, winning is winning. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, a win's a win. If this price finds a way to keep going on, I got it on the five minute. Let me see it on the hour. Let's take a look. Ooh, y'all like how Rose is moving today. Hey, <laughs> everybody like, yeah, thank you, buddy. We ain't got to wait. We ain't got to ramble. Uh, but, yeah, so here we go. On the hourly, um, y'all see this little U forming. Now, it might be because of some good news that, you know, I know Forex Shark got some AMAs and some other things that he's doing, which is dope. That's good. So um, all y'all who's in drip right now, it might be a really good time to see if this is a floor. Um, one thing that I think, just my opinion, I think a lot of these sales that's been going on since January, <laughs> but a lot of them, I would say since definitely March has been, um, I ain't gonna say like telemarketer, but like noobs there's not people that's in the space like us you know what i'm saying so that's just my opinion uh but we here now i do have a, a suggestion a good suggestion we're gonna talk about today for drip uh y'all stay tuned for that all right what's next next <laughs> oh man uh elephant um elephants up now we're gonna talk about trunk as always y'all know we talk about this stuff every day right um elephant Y'all got to understand, it's not going to move synonymous with Trunk. It's not going to move the same way Trunk is. Y'all better talk. Hey, hold on, man. Hey, first off, make sure y'all hit that like, man. Y'all know the, you know, y'all know what time it is. It's the Money Crypto. It's the uh, Divide Degenerate Show, bro. It, come on. And then y'all know I need y'all to talk to me, bro. I need y'all to holler at me, bro. Um, Stank. I'm looking at the old price. Uh, On deck screen, I got the old price, though, Stank. Stank, like, <laughs> Stank say, no, 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 no. Hey, drip $20, bro. Hey, hey, it is. I see it on the other screen. We're showing Stank. Stank, come up too, bro. Come talk about drip, man. I, I really want experts in those fields to talk about it. Um, Zach, I see you on, bro. Uh, I'm gonna got, got some time for you later. Um, but yeah, that's what this show is for, bro. Come, hey, come for it, bro. Come 
Come uh, win us over, bro. Come help us um uh, in the crypto movement, the money crypto movement. If we don't know about drip crane, come teach us, bro. We want to hear from you. Um, okay, no, so elephant, like I said, does not move synonymous with Trump. So y'all just gotta keep that in mind. Um, elephant, we already know that's gonna be the moonshot. Um, I like the tokenomics. I always have like the tokenomics of elephant, right? Um, I don't like the the willy foo foo around it, you know what I'm saying? I don't like the shim sham, swim sham, all that the silliness, silliness. Is my sound back? Please tell me. Y'all know my listen. I told y'all I gotta roads to be tripping sometime, man. Am I good? Y'all let me know if I'm good. All right, let's keep it moving. Let's keep it moving. I don't know what y'all missed, <laughs> but I was just talking about splash of um having having a good floor right now. I think it's gonna be good for one percent per day. Okay, I see what's going on here. I see, I see what's going on. The fix is in. I see it. I see it. All right, let's go back to this watch list. My sound good, y'all. I'm back. I'm back. We good. All right. Mr. Shopaholic, what's happening? All right. Let's get back to it real quick, y'all. Um, and also, if, as always, man, if y'all have questions, if y'all want to talk about something, man, leave it in the chat. This is the open. Listen, this is a safe space. This is a safe space. You can say, Muddy, I hate what you're saying. Muddy, I love what you're saying. That's all good. All right. Let's see if Rose. Let's see. Ooh, Rose ain't playing today, y'all. I told you. All right. Now, remember, remember all my peoples, right? All y'all yielders, all y'all degenerates, like Muddy, y'all in the movement, y'all not, it don't matter. Listen, we're moving on to Paul Shane. We got Hedron, we got Maxi. We also got a meme calling in, in Paul Stoy. Paul, Paul Stoy, goodness. <laughs> and I got an expert, a more of an expert than me. Um, but I got somebody coming on to talk about that a little bit later. But look at Hedron right now. Look at Hedron. Stop playing, y'all. Remember, I told you right now, it's got to find some use cases. I think some of y'all know some use cases for Hedron. So we're here with it. We're we going to move with it. All right. So Hedron, keep your eye on it, especially if you already got Hex. Another one, the big one I really like, and maybe it's just nothing else to play with yet on Paul Shane. <laughs> nothing else. I mean, you got liquid loans and all that stuff. That's cool. But I like stuff like Maxi with that tokenomics. Um, up on a day, 8%. So just keep that in mind. Look at Pulse Dodge up, you know, 16% on a 24-hour. Pulse is picking up, y'all. Don't get left out. Please don't do it. Please. I need y'all. I need y'all. Don't get left behind. All right? All right, man. Let's keep it moving. Let's keep it moving. Let me see what y'all talking about before we uh, keep it moving, man. Okay, we on the same time. Okay, y'all know y'all y'all gotta talk to me, bro. Y'all know that. Y'all know that. All right, let's run through these uh, Binance Smart Contract um, platforms real quick, and then we're gonna go back. <clears throat> it's a couple of them. I told y'all we're gonna talk a little bit extra about today, and I'm gonna talk about how we're gonna fix them. Um, but today we're gonna start off with the drip faucet. Uh, so as we said earlier, the drip faucet, uh, shout out Snakes. Snakes say, nah, bro, it's up to 20 hours, bro. And I don't know, say it right. <laughs> uh, I'm going to say it right. I got you, Snake. Uh, but no, drips up to $20, which is, is very, very good. Uh, I think a lot of people were nervous about what was going to happen after the piggy bank, right? Um, you know, and we still, we're going to talk about piggy bank too. But the main thing is that we can see that drip is back where it's supposed to be. You know what I'm saying? Like, it came on back home. You know what I mean? My granny used to always say, ain't no never no wrong time to come home now. So, you know, some of us been in this for over a year. So we still here. Um, also, real quick, if you're in the Muddy Crypto movement, I told y'all, listen, nobody tells y'all this. Um, I was on um, my team leader. He's out. He's retired. He, his account is maxed out, right? What Muddy's team is, is called a prime. I call it a prime drip team. All right. So what that means is 
because my team leader can't get no more uh, dividends. If y'all under me and you roll yourself, you'll get your own um, airdrops. Seriously. And then I'll I still give you airdrops. So that's how we rock it on Team Muddy, bro. It is what it is. This is what we do over here, bro. This is for y'all believing, bro. So Because a lot of y'all, man, let me show my team real quick because I like to show. Um, a lot of my, a lot of y'all been rolling. I appreciate that. Now, Drip, listen, listen. I was saying this to Smock the other day. Um, and if y'all got some other reasons why Drip can grow, please leave it in the chat, bro. I would definitely want to talk about it. But Drip, um, it's just like anything, bro. The popularity means something. Like you can't negate it. Back in the day, a lot of our contracts wasn't getting eight, six thousand, five thousand new wallets. It don't matter if they, you know, the same or not. Um, but a lot of our old contracts wasn't getting them kind of people into the space and the bigger piece the bigger thing i like about driven will we'll talk about how to how i think we can fix it and make it better is the new influencers i think that's the biggest thing bro it's hard to influence sometimes man y'all ain't easy to please <laughs> y'all be like hey man that was wrong that was wrong <laughs> y'all hard on us sometimes but no it's um i respect anybody that's willing to pop on bro and just talk about um this space in any in any way so um shout out to drift for bringing on new people let's see what the squid all looking like now listen I told y'all I do a team death for two, but y'all have to roll, man. If y'all don't roll, I can't give y'all airdrops. You know what I'm saying? Y'all ain't gonna pop up on the list. Um, and then some of the people on the team, like, I want to see where I end up right now. <laughs> Look at this. See, see, we got somebody who came on rolling. You know what I'm saying? And the rest of y'all have been pretty much rolling. Listen, if these net deposits get under zero, you don't get under, listen, don't get left out now. I can't airdrop if you ain't got nothing rolled now. Uh, but that's drip, man. We're gonna come back to that a little bit later. Um, but that's one of the ones. Um, and this is what Stank want me to show y'all. Let me show y'all that price. So the price right now is $19.75. Um, as always, listen, if you're in drip right now, um, remember it's also a is you know, we want to care about the drip price. That's important, right? The biggest thing that I've seen, especially being in over a year now, is you know, you have to make sure that you value the time. The time is a very, very big variable in this equation here. Um, because you know, Four Sharks done a good job of basically finding a way for it to drain slow. So you know there's going to be a certain number of time you have to uh, account for in this contract. Um, but either way, um, okay, so this is my account. So I, I airdropped out 26 total, um, and I've gotten in reward only 53. So I'm trying to match my airdrop out to reward. Then y'all going to know it's real. Uh, but look, everybody, airdrop in. Seven, eight, almost two, almost two. I just got to do this. Almost two, two uh 10 y'all see rolling itself i give you airdrops and he also got his own airdrop all right do for self uh three uh one even a new look at the new guys look at the new guys they still got in there love too so i just want to show y'all man just especially for my new influencers please make sure y'all airdropping the peoples bro for real if they if they trust you enough to be on your squid all you know what i'm saying do right by the people don't don't you know what i mean do it right do it right all right, let's keep it moving. Let's keep it moving. I, the one I keep telling y'all about, listen, if you're in drip, you might as well be in pissing race. Listen, Forex ain't going to come to your house and smack you, elbow you, you know what I'm saying, jump off the top rope. He ain't going to do none of that. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> uh, bank tell either. You'll be fine. You know what I'm saying? You can get some other contracts. Don't, don't feel like you're cheating on them. Some of y'all feel like y'all cheating on somebody if y'all get into a new contract. This is for y'all. You know what I'm saying? Like, do this strategy, best strategy for you and yours. However, same thing, pissing race 1% a day. Um, not much to talk about here, Meryl. I, I might have a little something for pissing a little bit later, something special for y'all. Um, because I'm really appreciating what they're doing, bro. They just, I like quiet a little bit. And they kind of quiet. I think they do need to do more AMAs, but, you know, it is what it is. But that's pissing race, another 1% per day. Again, we're not trading tokens. We're just getting free ones all day. It's just for staking, basically. Okay, what's next? I'm moving kind of good today. Listen, I told y'all. I told y'all I'm moving kind of good today. Okay, John O. What up, John O? Um, was Drip helped out more by peeps depositing into the river? I'm glad you thank you, Jonathan. Let's go, uh, John O, my bad. Thank you, John O. Let's go back and let's let's talk about that, bro. I like that you brought that up. I'm happy that you brought that up. Okay, listen, what is the reservoir? Muddy was in the reservoir. Muddy didn't like the reservoir. <laughs> what the reservoir basically is, it adds liquidity um on the site instead of adding it on pancake swap. So kind of to go back, just to let y'all know what the point of it was, um, the reservoir's initial point was to add more BNB onto the site. And if you do that, you'll get little what's called drips or drops it and have a value and all of that stuff. Um, now, what I will tell you is if you're in the faucet, the faucet is probably three to four to five times faster than the reservoir. The reservoir, all it really is is a slow drip. It's a 10% potato in and out. Um, it's 
essentially just an hourglass contract, to be honest with you. But it helps add liquidity to the site. So once you buy your drops, that's adding liquidity to the site. Um, now, some people, it's not a guy saying it's not going to save the, the price. It's not. Um, the reason being, it's just it's not going to be enough in this reservoir to significantly take over what's in pancake swap y'all gotta remember animal farm drip garden all that stuff being brought over was a big deal you know what i'm saying so um but all that also done was just add liquidity remember um what was it what was it uh, uh drip liberation y'all remember that and i can go show that on animal farm what did that do it made it cheaper to buy drip remember i was saying how bad that is for drip i was like no you don't know liberation stay with the reservoir but people trying to go back to the reservoir I don't think it's going to be as successful just because it's slower and people are going to expect some gains. They shouldn't. Not as many. Reservoir means you really believe in the site. I think the reservoir right now is mostly for whales, um, just in my opinion. Uh, but again, if you're looking for gains, don't, don't go to the reservoir. Um, it could help, I would say, mid to long term if you're going heavy in the reservoir. But again, I think now if we talk about them friendly whales and drip, the reservoirs for them. Y'all want to, you know, y'all, matter of fact, y'all can't sell a lot. Yeah, I might as well put it in the reservoir. So that's talking to them. And this is B&B. &B. So uh, good question, John. I hope I answered that question. Good question about the reservoir because I know we heard some things about the reservoir today. Uh, I just want to make sure I clear that up. Um, okay, now, if again, it's another way to gain, though. So if you just want, if you don't mind having slow gains and you really believe in drip, and these are, this is really for believers. So, you know, do, do teach your own, do you. All right, another one getting us B&B &B every day, the same ones. I just keep running through the same ones, Donna. I do this for a reason, y'all. Uh, my diamond team see, it keeps paying us BNB every day. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like some people don't really don't believe that. Like what? Is that? No, BNB direct every day. Like so, is what it is. I'm not gonna stay on that long. Uh, you see, the, okay, I'm looking at these numbers. You see the total deposit up over eleven thousand, and the total withdrawn is just five. So we got about six thousand. I'm not gonna look at the contract today, but um, this is viable. It's still viable, and y'all got to remember a lot of deposits were early before pitching. So. Is what it is with that. Is what it is. Let's move on to the next one. On to the next one. And I'm touching some of these light. And I'm going to get back to them. But I'm touching some of these light just so I already told you it's part of the main subject today. So, you know, is what it is. All right. Before I keep going, I know I'm rambling. Let me see what y'all talking about. Hey, y'all hop in that chat and I was happy. Let me know y'all breathing, huh? You know what I'm saying? Maybe I'm doing a good job if y'all quiet. Maybe that's good. I don't know. <laughs> All right. Um, Elephant token. Um, Again. I'm not going to not say what I'm unhappy about. Anybody who stakes in the trunk staking um, pretty much got shafted. It, there's no reason why you should be punished with us Stampeders. Um, and that's just an opinion. I don't know what this team is coming out with. Um, I hope it's something great. Um, it looks like, and we can look at, let's look at the treasury. Um, Y'all see the pancake BUSD, BUSD price is down to 57 cent. Um, the one thing I just don't like is they need to stop saying people are paper hands for selling. Um, uh, exploit, you know, when an exploit happens, and to I think it's to main to the point, keep talking about Luna. Like, is this Luna? This is not Luna. But even if it was, um, what happens when that happens? People get the heck out the way. So don't name call. That's not that's not okay. They don't have to stick by you. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's their money. They don't have to do nothing. Um, but anyway, so the elephant treasury, um, it looked like it's growing about a trillion a day. That's okay. Um, who was that? It was somebody that had a really good data video. He was saying it by he was showing all the numbers and you know he was projecting on the elephant treasury based on what's happening today, which I don't necessarily like. I think that math um has a couple different variables he's not adding. However, it was good to see some base numbers. So I appreciate my, my man for that. Um, uh, I think he owned a team or whatever over there, at Elephant. Um, but shout out to him for that. Um, you know, some other influences over there. They don't do quite the same way. You know what I'm saying? Even, yeah. So, yeah, shout out to you for that, bro. Um, and sh and let me say this real quick before I get off of this. Because y'all know, here go Fuddy Mo real quick. Fuddy! Fuddy! Y'all know how Fuddy is. I got to I gotta say what it is. You know what I'm saying? One of the influencers over here with this contract says something in his comments. I'm going to say it publicly. Because um, I need to know what you want, sir. And I don't want to say your name, but I will. Talk to me. Holler me in my DMs. Um, but he said something to a commenter on his video like, Oh, um, don't be over here fudding elephant money or my crew will get you. Like, we're really, really tough. We're going to really get you. Something to this. I'm so lame. And I'm like, what? I'm like, dog, what is you talking about? I'm like, ain't you an influencer? Or you do, or are you, did you develop this? Are you bank teller or no? Like, he know who I'm talking to. Like, don't do that, bro. That's not what the space is for. You want to act like everything's all peaches and cream and it's not. 
So don't get mad at people for telling the truth. I'm talking about, and then what chat? Who? What chat? Y'all gonna jump people? What y'all gonna do? Hack somebody? What y'all gonna do? Like, I just don't like this. That's not good for the space. We don't want to make people feel bad for their opinions. So if that influencer wants to come up and talk, he can. You're not smarter or better than nobody, sir. But you try to act like you are, and that's not cool. So no, don't don't treat your fans or people that watch your videos like that, sir. That's not okay. All right. Uh, they're gonna put over ten thousand BNB into the reservoir. One BNB uh, from the majority of uh, the one hundred K users. Um, okay, I didn't know that. That's okay. Shop Holly, I like that little plan. That's a decent little plan. We'll see what happens. You know what I'm saying? Like, listen, listen, <laughs> y'all know y'all gotta show me now. I mean, like, we didn't have some ups and downs. Y'all got to show me. Um, but anyway, that was elephant I just talked about a second ago. Shout out for that comment. That's a good one comment. I didn't know that. Um, okay. Uh and y'all know y'all gotta fill me in, bro. I ain't hip, bro. I don't be and everybody chat like that. Muddy crypto movement, we got our own thing, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So shout out to y'all. Okay, a lot of people want to know what's going on with Piggy Bank. And listen, um, y'all know I ain't going to lie to y'all, man. I'm just going to be honest. It is what it is. Look at the price. It's going down slow, which is great. It's not going down fast. What would happen if it was allowed to go down fast? That's the only thing I'm worried about. However, while we're here, we're going to use this and we're going to benefit. Shout out to Team Muddy. Bro. I've been airdropping like a madman. Y'all know how I am, bro. Just finish another airdrop. Y'all know how I am, bro. I'm just, I don't know, bro. I'm just got a good heart. I don't know. Anyway, all right. Yesterday, I didn't get to talk about this. I didn't get to show the numbers. I already told y'all what my plan was. Let me, let's talk a little strategy. And now, if y'all got a piggy bank strategy, please put it in the uh, the chat. We're going to talk about it. Oh, also, real quick, shout out to, I think it was Brian said it yesterday. Brian said something to the effect that um, there's a higher transaction fee if you're trying to move in piggy bank. Um, he's right, and I want to go back and address that. He's right, but he's also kind of off too. What he's right about is if you buy piglets, just say if I was to take whatever this is, um, this little point zero one. If I bought piglets, um, or if I gift piglets, it's gonna be like zero point zero one BNB. You know what I'm saying? Probably a little bit more. Um, they just gotta turn the gas fees down a little bit. Um, but yeah, but that's that's the only for that. Now, if you in here, you compounding, it's regular cheap prices. So shout out to my minnows. That's a minnow. That I know the minnows be worried about. Hey, bro, I can't be paying these fees, man. Woo, woo, y'all been not touch ETH. <laughs> y'all been not say nothing about ETH. Listen, bro, we've been struggling over ETH, so it is what it is. Um, so yeah, you know what I'm saying? So shout out to that. Uh, let me see, let me see, let me see. Okay, I got you, Zach. You good, you good, you good. Whenever you're ready, bro, I'm gonna bring you up in a little bit. I got you. All right, let's keep it moving. How y'all liking this time, bro? This is a good time of day. This is good. Y'all done put, put the kids down, everybody chilling. Okay, cool, cool. All right, real quick. Um, let's talk about piggy uh piggy bank a little bit in depth. Now, yesterday, I, I wanted to say something. I couldn't finish it. Now I can finish it. Listen, in this contract, listen up, y'all. You do not need a million different stakes. Why do I say that? Because this caveat of being able to deposit is very, very significant. Now, if you want to jump in and get your pigs early, uh, you want to jump in and get your pigs early, let's see. If you want to jump in and get your pigs early and you see these high crazy percentages that you can get and you want to wait 120 weeks more power to you i ain't talking against that i'm just saying according to what i see um you can deposit and have the same kind of effect now the one thing y'all have to pay attention to is this time remaining that is it's not just important for you it's also important for these sites the time remaining on these piggy bank stakes is crucial if there's zero time remaining that means that person can withdraw does it mean they will not necessarily However, they have that option. What Muddy's plan is, I already got my seven stakes. So I think my bags are packed with this. Now I'm just building these. Um, and I'm going to, you know, eventually I got 20 days, right? So after these 20 days, I'm just going to roll all these for about 20 days. Just keep it rolling, keep it rolling. That top one, that's for y'all. All right, that's for the people. So I'll roll that too. And I'm going to get that back to the people. Y'all already know. Shout out to Team Muddy. Also, you're watching the DeFi Degenerate Show with Muddy Mo. Make sure y'all hit that like. Don't, hey, don't free low. Y'all know how I feel about that, man. I get all of my feelings. Also, if you do, open the camera on your phone and then go to the corner of that screen. Y'all see that barcode? Bing! Get that, all right? That's how you get to the link tree. You can find everything everything you need there. All right. Um. So, yeah, back to this. Now, Um. the time remaining is when you can withdraw. This is what you need to focus on because all of this, until this time remaining is at zero, is, is dashboard money. You can't do nothing with it but compound. And, you know, there's nothing else to do but compound. Please compound, y'all. 
it just makes no sense. You're losing percentage and you're giving us more percentage when you don't compound. Um, but to make a long story short, um, I'm just gonna have one seven stakes. And like I say, six of these stakes will be compounded every day and I will take one out every day. But I'm just waiting for my time remaining to get to zero. Now, some people don't play that game. It's different strategies to everything, bro. Do you, bro. Do you, like Russell Simmons said, do you. I'm not finna stop you. You can do whatever you need to do. You know what I'm saying? Like, if you want to stay for 156 weeks, if you believe, go ahead, bro. But I will say the APYs is very high on this. Um, so just, you know, be, pay attention to that. Also, real quick before I move on, the pig pen is still pushing, still kicking and pushing like Lupe. You feel me? <laughs> so we kick, push, kick, push. It's still doing this thing. Now, what I told y'all, um, this being paid, paying pigs as a reward, is is that really a reward in this BUSD vault? Some I think some whales like this right now. Um, this is what I'm seeing, bro. This BUSD going down quickly. And where's this new money? So y'all gotta you know be aware, be excited. Y'all can, you know, we can take out some money here, we can do well. But if there's no new money coming in, remember with drip, y'all. New money came in, we made drip really, really stay afloat and push forward. So new money is very important. All right. Let's see, let's see. What are they talking about in the chat? Ain't nothing DeFi paying more than piggy bank. Um, uh, you think piggy bank point paying more than hex? Okay, gains off the chart. Okay, you got to say, hey, yeah, you got to show me stay. I'm with it. I'm with it. We all with that, bro. <laughs> hey, no, I'm liking piggy bank. I'm not against it at all. Um, I am concerned about you know feeding his price. You know, somebody feeding his price. I don't like that at all. Um, also shout out to Tone in the group. You know what I'm saying? Uh, he he basically was, uh, showed a little screenshot. I don't know what's happening. A little screenshot um of the farms coming. Y'all know how I feel about them farms should be out already, but um that's neither here nor there. All right, let's keep it moving. Let's keep it moving. We got more things. We got more things. Oh, let's do it. Let's see, Rosa. Let's see, Rosa. Little baby, look at my baby. That's my busted baby. Look at Rosa, my busted, busted. Look at her. She's going to get on track. Look at her. No, she ain't. Okay. We're going to keep moving in. Dang, I thought Rosa was going to have a whole good day today. Thought I figured it out, y'all. Uh, okay. I was trying to show y'all the animal, uh, the drip garden real quick. Some of y'all want to see that. Hold on. Hold on. I got you. Let's go. Let's start anew. Let's start anew. I got you. What y'all on, bro? Hey, y'all better talk to me now. Y'all know. And I got you, Zach. Zach, I don't know if you want to be Zachary or Zach, you know what I'm saying? But I got you, Zach. I got you in a minute, bro. Um, but yeah, y'all make sure while, while Rose is doing her thing, y'all make sure y'all talk to me, bro. What y'all on, man? Um, okay, drip garden. Let's see if this will work. Boom, boom, boom. Yeah, but uh, shout out to listen, shout out to Stank, bro. They they experts, they insiders on uh drip and animal farm and all that. Uh, so yeah, that's that's what's up. Uh time like piggy banks is killing. Texas 40% APY. Yeah, I, I, I agree with that. It's like, I think it's a thousand percent over got to be over a thousand percent APR, I believe, which is, yeah, it's definitely killing it. But my thing is, is it going to kill it? You know what I'm saying? Like, is it going to kill that price? That's my only concern. Like, if it kills the price, then we, you know, if it, we, we just need the pigs to stay around. So we'll see what happens when them farms come out. Um, I'm very excited about the farm. Some of y'all, we farmers, hey, what farmers do? We farm, bro. That's it. Okay, y'all know this uh the drip garden. Um now again the drip garden has a lot to do with the drip price. It I think it, it it's a small factor. Not only just that, I told y'all when the farms come back out, we'll see what happens um and how people use their drip USD pair. Again, here make sure y'all don't just not sit in ducks, all right? You have to compound, you have to compound, all right. Um, you don't have to compound every day, but you know, I think this algorithm, I think it's one every three days or something like that, it may be less, but um drip garden is still paying out so um good thing for shout out forex see I, I give credit where credit is due shout out forex i like when stuff is still running drip gardens is, is going down you know what i'm saying but it's running so hey you know we, we still here we moving all right all right uh let's keep it moving okay let's jump on step on to the dark side let's step on to that dark side now all my hexagons stand up i know i got zach on he gonna pop on in a minute i'm gonna get him on here any other hexagons? Come on, pop on, bro. This y'all time to shine. We about to talk about this other stuff. Y'all know what time it is, bro. We talking about hex. It's better this. Yeah. Now, new people. Real quick review, all right? This site, hex.com. It's going to be the easiest way for you to start. I showed y'all go to hex.win. That's where we stake, all right? So you'll 
You can buy your hex here. You can also buy shout out smock for saying atomic wallet. You can also buy hex directly from changenow.io. All these places you can buy hex. Trust me, y'all. I'm not financial advice, but you need to get you some hex. All right. I know, and I got Zach gonna come on and talk a little bit about hex and his history too. But I just want to run through this real quick. We're gonna talk about a couple things. We're gonna keep it moving. That's it. Let's see. Boom, boom. And I showed y'all the transform lobby yesterday. So hey, it is what it is. All right. This is what y'all came to see right here, man. On Hex, it's these prices, man. Listen, man. Listen, man. It don't get too much better than this, nah. It don't, nah. I'm just, yeah. Um, market dominance, 1.2%. Um, that's going to be interesting going forward. I want to see how Hex, what that market dominance is going to look like. Like He put that up there for a reason. Rick, are you trying to come at Bitcoin with that market dominance? I don't know. Look at this, y'all. Look at this. Um, how many how many users do we have in Drip and stuff? How many users do we have in Elephant Money? Right now, Hex, there's 400 or 450,000 wallets. Yeah, yeah, that's that, and it's got a long way to grow. That's that's good. Um, stakers today, new stakers 412. So these are just the stats, y'all. Hex.win or no, hex.com, one of them. <laughs> one of those, I don't know what it is. Um, also, new people, a big thing to understand is T shares. T shares is the amount of, um, hex that you will get back for you know how long and how big you stake so the average stake length right now is 6.7 years so what is that saying that's saying that people believe in this thing all right so here's what it is let me see what y'all talk about ty says uh okay dr daps you launching on pause chain hey bro hey i told you you gotta holler at me bro i got to know what you're doing bro that's what's up yeah get over on that new stuff man Ain't no reason not to well three um get hex before or after pause goes live oh thank Thank you for asking that, Todd. That is a very, very good question. Um, let me put that on the screen. Hold <laughs> on. Let me put that on the screen. That is a great question. He says, should I get Hex um, before or after Pulse goes live? Um, very, very important. Not financial advice or nothing like this. Just what I think. Um, what I think is that you should get Hex now, ASAP, especially being 12 cent. It was 11 cent yesterday. Um, I just said yesterday, I don't think it's going to hit these prices no time soon, y'all. So, just be cognizant of where of cognizant of where hex is and where it can go, but get it before. Why? If you get hex before Paul Shane goes live, you're gonna get a free um, duplicate of whatever hex you have, right? And it's gonna be called P hex on the Paul Chain. Uh, so, for example, if you have a hundred hex in your wallet, just sitting in your wallet, or even even if you have it staked in go to hex win. Uh, once Pulse Chain is live, you will get a duplicate of that into your new uh, Pulse wallet. And you will still have the Ethereum Hex 2, all right? It's a two for one. You're doubling up, all right? So, yes. Uh, thank you for asking that question, but that's a very good question. Um, I, but if it were up to me, I would definitely tell y'all to get y'all Hex before. All right. Um, okay, just showing how to get started. I'm going to keep it moving, y'all. I'm going to show y'all Pulse. Um, then I'm going to get to these main subjects, and I'll get the, get the guest on. Appreciate it. He been riding, too. This It's a two-hour show. I got you. Zach, like, bro, I'm, I'm, I'm chilling here, bro. I'm waiting on you. <laughs> uh, I got you, Zach. I got you. You chilling. You good. Hexile, what up? What up, though? Make sure y'all hit that like if y'all just coming in. Now, let me show y'all something. Because if you're not um, in, I think this is London and um, some European countries. I think Ricky in Europe, I'm sure. Um, look at this. We don't see this where I'm from. But look at this, y'all. You see this? Cars. I told y'all people... Listen, people will get a wives to Richard Hart. I ain't lying. These these hexagons, some of these hexagons will get a wives to Richard Hart. It's serious, bro. They're not playing. They'll get a life. Real talk. It's crazy. People got tattoos. People naming children hex. <laughs> Go look it up. I think I'm lying. Look at this. Hex right next to uh, Kanye and uh, 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 <laughs> old Kim. Kim trying to stay young. She can't. Anyway, so I just wanted to show y'all, bro. That's pop stuff, but look at where hex is. All right. Pause chain. Let's keep it moving. Let's keep it moving. Uh, is this what I wanted to show y'all? I don't think so. Um, this is Paul Sex, though. I wanted to just kind of show y'all the uh, the test net, but we've been we've been looking at the, the test net. Just for y'all who don't know, and if you know the question back, you know, should I get hex before or after? Look how much we sacrificed. This is for I think Pause X. This is not even Pause. This is Pause X. Was hold on, y'all know I, I do bad without commas. I need my commas, bro. What is this? Boom. 975 million of them things, bro. Almost a B. Almost a B with sacrifice of Pulse X. So it just tells you, like, if you ask about liquidity. <laughs> if you ask about liquidity, then yeah, no. Um, getting those copies on Pulse is an inside move. That's a fact, Hexile. He was saying getting that, um, if you're getting them extra copies of whatever you have, 
uh, but especially Hex, bro. That's an insider move, bro. Most new people don't know that. So, you know, congratulations, y'all here. You know what I'm saying? Y'all heard it. All right, uh, real quick, let me talk about a couple, and then I'm going to keep it mush moving to the main subjects. Um, we got Gail. Now, I'm not going to talk light. I'm going to talk light about Gail today, all right? We gonna we ain't gonna get into Dale. We ain't gonna dig deep today. But Gail is special, man. Gail is special. I like it. It's different. It reminds me of Rex a lot. Um, but it's day twenty three. Has an auction style. Um, I don't want to get y'all all the goodies right now. It's something I'm still looking into. But I do got the link. If y'all want to jump into some, some of y'all are like, hey, bro, I need something different. <laughs> I done got this uh, piggy bank bread. I got this drip bread. I got this elephant taken out of there. I've got all of that, man. I need some. Listen, I got you. Gail is possibly one. Um, also, Muddy Crypto Movement. It's the movement. Shout out to the squid all, bro. Hey, listen, bro. I like my team, bro. I keep saying that, bro. Everybody, listen, y'all. Hey, I'm going to say this real quick before I talk about this project. Listen, listen, listen. Every chat got some situations where people feel uncomfortable you know what i'm saying you know why because it's like double dutch <laughs> you know what i'm saying you ever see some kids some little girls playing double dutch you know how hard it is to jump in we used to get whooped with them same chords <laughs> you know, we got them with the stitch of core whoopers we got them stitch core, but they used to jump rope Boom, ting, 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 ting. and you gotta you gotta try to time it up if you ain't never seen this sport you gotta try to time it up and some of these little girls well i'll tell you they jump in uh, uh, uh. Same thing with these telegrams, bro. You only people don't even feel comfortable talking. Please make people feel comfortable talking. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, please make people feel comfortable. Don't let nobody just, you know what I'm saying? Like, it's too many people sometimes. And, you know, some people be, yeah, people got different personalities. So let people talk. All right. It's a new, I should have brought this out on Thirsty Thursday, shouldn't I? This is a Thirsty Thursday move. It's okay, though. I, I, I'm ahead of myself sometime. But shout out to the money crypto movement. See, it's, it, it pays to be under an umbrella. What do I always say? You have to be in an umbrella. You're going to get rained on. Shout out to the developers of Ooze Finance, bro. They know what that real is. They was like, you know what, Muddy Crypto Movement? We're going to go on and get the party going. So shout out to everybody who got the whitelist spots. We had a couple whitelist spots, bro. That's what we're here for. Now, that's what we do. That's what we're doing. You feel me? That's what we're building. They understand it's where the people coming. This is where the people coming, bro, because they're getting that real over here. Ooze Finance, I'm not going to jump into that now. Um, just know it's got a lot of DeFi in it and it got NFTs in it, financial NFTs. Y'all know how that is. I'm going to talk about that at a later time. But yeah, yeah. Shout out to the Squid All. We got in early on that one, y'all. So we're going to make it do what it do. Not our financial advice and teach his own. Everybody do their own thing. All right. Let me get to that main subject real quick. Zach, wait, wait, patiently too. He probably at work or so. <laughs> Zach, Zach at work. He's like, man, I can't talk right now. I got you, Zach. You good. Give me just a second. I got you. Oh. Uh, What's the first one I want to talk about? Let's do the splash up first. Let's go to splash. How y'all doing today, bro? How y'all doing today? What's happening? What's happening? Let's go to splash How many y'all in splash How many y'all in splash Let me see. Let me see. Hexile says, uh, thanks for that double up, Ricky. Ricky! Hey, Ricky do only one thing, bro. He make us money. <laughs> like, real talk. Like, so he's Hexile, right, right? Ricky makes us money. He named, look at Hexile. He named his whole name after the man. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, really? Um, uh, yeah, piggy bank is not okay. Shout out, shout out, shout out to Mo for the whitelist. Yeah, bro. Yeah, that's a fact, bro. That's what we're here for. You know what I'm saying? The, look, devs need us. I keep telling y'all, these influencers are doing wrong by not telling y'all about all everything that's out here. Listen, bro, it's more than one or two contracts. These devs want us to talk about their contracts. You know what I'm saying? Like, and they know we're telling the truth over here. So I appreciate the guys at Ooze and all those guys, like teams like that, they see the future. You know what I'm saying? They're not waiting for. You know what I'm saying? Like, nobody, they know, okay, influencer, I got you. And that's what it's supposed to be, bro. It is what it is. All right. Uh, dang, let's get on AVAX. <laughs> y'all know I can't stand getting on AVAX. What y'all up to, man? Dang, I got to get on AVAX. Okay, let's do it. Let's do it. Ain't going to be nothing but a second, man. Okay, I, I, I like this. How y'all liking this time, bro? What is it? Nine Eastern, eight Central. I'm liking this little groove, bro. I'm in a little zone right now. I don't know. Probably eight before that. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> like, that's why I'm probably, you know, up and ready to go. Um, but hold on, y'all. Y'all know I'm pulling it up. Now, real quick, while I'm pulling it up in the back, um, what Splassive is, Splassive is another 2% per day. All right, so we've been in these. This is it's a commonality. I hear I keep saying the same things over and over and over. Um, now, let's talk about the issues first. Let's get to it. Come on, MetaMask. Hey, can y'all get, listen, y'all got to get Rose a hand today, though. 
I know I usually don't say that, but Rose have been doing real, real good today. Y'all ain't even paid attention to that. Hey, y'all. Y'all, yeah, yeah, see? Y'all already know, bro. And then my, my OGs, the ones that's here, they know. Like, yeah, bro, it's a good day today. Uh, y'all ever had a car where, you know what I'm saying, you you weren't sure if it was going to start up. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, I had a minimum, they call them buckets, beaters, you know what I'm saying? Like a lemon, whatever you want to call it, you know what I'm saying? Had many of those. Uh, you ever started up? I used to have to, man, had this old school box Chevy, you feel me? I used to, you know what I'm saying, have to start it up with my, my fingernail. You know what I'm saying? I cranked the car with the tip of my fingernail. Hey, I cranked the car. <laughs> Somebody know what I'm talking about right there. Um, but yeah, and they, and that's old cars. You can't do that on the new cars now. You can't crank the car. <laughs> they got all this electric and everything's all electric. You know what I'm saying? Everything's all electric now. You know what I'm saying? Basically, but yeah, just y'all know. I like to bring y'all in my life, man. Ghetto sometimes. It is what it is. You know what I'm saying? I still got an 84 uh, El Dorado, L dog that I got to fix up. You know what I'm saying? So here's what it is. All right. Um, how many of y'all like old school cars? I like old schools. What's your favorite old school car? Um, y'all know my dream car real quick before I start talking. I don't want nothing new. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, you know, cars we drive is decent already. You feel me? Like, I want, like, I'm a, I like, it's weird, bro. I got a weird taste. Like, I like James Bond. James Bond. I always want to be James Bond. I always want that Aston Martin, that DB5. What y'all know about cars? I want that DB5, the Aston. You know what I'm saying? Like, don't nobody know what the Aston is. You know what I'm saying? I, wanna, I like pulling them in cars that nobody would know what it is. They just can't stop looking. You know what I'm saying? That's how money pull up on them. You feel me? Uh, that's real life stuff, too. All right. Uh, let's see. Let's see. Um, okay. Splash. Now, I'm at the home page. Um, long story short, this guy exploited. I think it was an airdrop exploit like a lot of these contracts had. Um, and y'all see that price has been going down and down and down. Now, shout out to Bitcoin Brown. I think he's the developer for this. Come on to the show, bro. Do an unscripted AMA with Muddy Mo, bro. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't buy it. You ain't gonna get Fuddy Mo. You'll get Muddy Mo. Muddy for the money. You know what I mean? Muddy for the money. But funny, Fuddy's for when they acting funny. When they acting funny, that's what Fuddy's for. You Bitcoin Brown, I ain't seen you acting funny because you can't, you brought this back first. Kudos for that. However, y'all, we've seen this happen with these sites before. Um, you know, especially at 2% a day, that's a high percentage a day. Um, what is that? Over 700 and I don't I can't do the math in my head. 700 some percent, seven over 720, 30 some percent, right? Uh APR. This there's a big problem with this. And we're gonna talk about drip in a second, but the same the biggest issue with Splats of right now is two issues. One issue is that I don't think you have whales who believe. Um, so that has that has to be fixed because drip the only way to drip is stand afloat right now is it has wells that believe, you know what I'm saying? So, you know, with this Bitcoin Brown, I'm talking to you, homie. Um, come on to the show and tell me how wrong I am or tell me how right I might be. Um, but with this, bro, you gotta get you some whales that you know either believe or you know can help turn this around because it looked like the top influences are leaving. Uh, and also looking at the what is that the wave price, which is the token you have to hold to get referrals, that that price is going down too. So that's something you got to be aware of. But you did come back from the exploit, and not only just that. So this is the main page. I'm just gonna walk y'all through if y'all haven't seen it. I don't jump on AVEX often, uh, and I got a new team member too. Shout out to the team to the squid all. I don't check. Okay, yeah, we got another team member. Shout out. Um, and so now this is the tap. This is the one percent per day that's similar to the faucet, right? Um, sorry, this is two percent per day. Um, and we still in here. Um, it's even even though the price is down to one one dollar or something a day, we still in here. We still making gains. Uh, so this is a direct clone, and you know I'm not against direct clones in certain scenarios. Uh, I am against clones that don't try anything innovative outside of what's already been done. Um, so now the first thing I would say, if you want to fix um, Splash of Bitcoin Brown, is you have to find something that makes your project different. Um, you know, I, I like I listen to rap music. You know what I'm saying? And one difference that I hear about the rap music now and back when I was growing up, you know, I'm, I'm dating myself, but I'm Kanye, Jeezy, that time frame. You know what I'm saying? Um, the big difference I see now is um, a lot of these kids sound the same. Um, and back in that day, you had T.I., you had Jay-Z, you had all my favorites, right? Uh, Andre 3000. Shout out to Outkast. All my OGs know my Outkast. You feel me? That equipment I was fired. But anyway, long story short, all I'm saying that to say is, um, you know, you gotta, you, you know, you gotta make sure you have something that makes you different, Bitcoin Brown. And this is really just a, a, a rinse and repeat of drip. We don't really need a rinse and repeat. Two percent. I get what you're trying to do there, but yeah, um, find something else different. I think that's one way that you can fix it. 
All right, let me go to my notes because I'm losing my spot. <laughs> I got y'all. I got y'all. Um, also, real quick, I think you need to do more AMAs, uh, Bitcoin Brown. And I'm gonna go to the splash pad real quick. I think you need to do more AMAs. You we gotta know who you are. Um, you know, Boris probably do too many AMAs, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Um, and you know, you know, Juice Man, he probably, you know, he pick and choose who he wanna do his AMAs with. So I just think you need to get out there. Um, if not you, you need to get a, a team leader, you know what I'm saying? Like a lot of these devs don't understand that, you know, their strengths is not in, you know, dealing with people and project managing. Uh, they're really good at deving, but they're not really good at managing. Uh, so, you know, big up, I'm not sure about what your background is, but this is just something that you can do. Um, if you're interested in that, you know what I'm saying? Like, just kind of change it up, bro. Also, um, you know, I'm sorry, that last point was getting AMAs. You got to get some AMAs. Also, real quick, this is the splash pad. This is similar to the Drip Garden. This was like a last ditch effort to try to bring some value onto the site. Um, and it gives you APR 3% per day. Um, it's, you know, y'all see how it's doing, you know. <laughs> it's here, you know what I'm saying? It's just that splash price is dropping. So what we doing in this whole video, like I hate the, this is all muddy mo. Ain't no fuddy mo today. It's all muddy. This is muddy today, y'all. And also you're watching the DeFi Degenerate Show with Muddy Mo. Make sure y'all hit that like, bro. Don't be stingy. Don't be stingy, bro. And also share this. Share this with somebody, man. They need to learn about this. I told y'all, this is like homework, man. Come on, spend your little couple hours a day, man. Get some money, man. This is what we do. We learn how to make our, our sales some bread, bro. That's it. Anyway, back to this. Bitcoin Brown. Um, Yeah, so I, I would say MAs. And also, you need to find some alternative ideas. That was, that was another point. Last thing. And this is the thing I'm probably going to say to Drip, too. All right? You have a problem here, Bitcoin Brown, and it's an unfixable problem. Bank Teller came on my show, right? And he, you know, he don't know what he was doing, but he basically was saying um, that the issue with Drip is the multiple wallets and essentially from people being able to make multiple wallets that a whale will always be a whale in Drip to a certain extent, uh, which he's not wrong. But there is a way to fix that. And Bitcoin Brown, this is the way that you can fix this. All right. So one thing that you can do, this is you got to pay attention to what's going around. He's quiet now. He's real quiet. What are you talking about? What are you talking about? <laughs> I got you, bro. I got you. Listen, you have to build a mega whale, bro. You have to build something like Bertha. And the hard part is, is that you already got people with their stakes in here. Um, so to be honest with you, in order to do that, you're going to have to have a V3 or whatever version it's on. You know what I'm saying? Like V5, V6, whatever. But you have to do another version, give people their coins, and then um, build that Bertha into your contract. It's not going to be easy, though, Bitcoin Brown. It's not. But you need to have a mega well. One thing that Elephant Money did do, it kind of showed the way of what the future of contracts are going to be, right? So, you know, we've always taken things to the next level, the next step, right? Bitcoin Brown, what you're going to need to do to stay successful is you're going to need to, like I say, build that mega well. And, you know, you're going to have to stay on your toes a little bit. You got to change it up. Um, but if I were you, I would take a shot at it. And again, that well, it's a lot of math involved with that. And, you know, elephant money, the difference is he had the, the uh, elephant graveyard and all that stuff connected to it. It's going to be a little bit harder for you. But to figure that out, to figure that mega well account out. It's going to make it to where nobody else um, can out, out, outweigh that well. And it's going to bring this bring more people to your contract. Uh, similar to what, you know, kind of what Elephant Money wanted. It's not the same, but kind of what they want to do. But I think that can save this site because it's going to have those tokens going, getting smaller and smaller in supply. Okay. Bitcoin Brown, that's enough for you. That's all I got for you. You want some more? Come on to get unscripted with Muddy Mo, bro. That is what it is. Come holler at my, listen, holler at my peoples. Come on in the movement, bro. We here. We here. All right. Let me see what y'all are saying. Hey, hey y'all ain't talking to me. <laughs> y'all know I can't stand that. Y'all better say something. What y'all think about Splasser, bro? Am I right? What else y'all think could work for Splasser, bro? Talk to me. Talk to me. Some of y'all watching the game, like, man, I ain't looking at you. <laughs> hey, y'all still my people, though. You feel me? Y'all still my people. All right. What's the next one? Um, Let's do Drip Last. Let's do, uh, let's move over to Elephant Money. Where is it at? No, no elephant money. Okay. Uh, let me get to elephant money real quick. Um, so, yeah, so elephant money is going to be the next one. How to fix elephant money. Now, um, again, I apologize to Trunk Stakers for, you know, this developer and this team. They're not, you know, some people find it weird. They, you know, they don't find it in them, themselves to apologize. Oh, it was your risk. It was your risk. Yeah, but it was your fault, though. You know what I'm saying? Like, I just, I, I hate people that's not. Uh, that it doesn't show humility. You feel me? Like, it's just, that's just weird. But anyway, 
um, that you hear and that most of us, you know, even though Muddy talked up this contract since we're here, we're going to talk about how to make it work. We're going to talk about how to make it better. Now, anybody say I'm hating after this? I don't know what to tell you. Ain't nobody else giving no hints on how to do this. Well, if they are, then they ain't being listened to. They being deleted out the chat. <laughs> oh, I'm just playing. I'm just playing. But it is, it is true. Um, now, let me talk on a different level here because this is a, a little bit different situation. I'm not as worried about the math. Um, and talking about Splash with Bitcoin Brown, I think he has to worry about math. I don't think math is an issue here. I don't think even coding to an extent is issue here. Issue here is personality stuff. It's personal stuff. Soft skills, essential skills. Like, you know, these people just don't know how to deal with people. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's really kind of what it is. They all in their own island acting like nothing negative can happen. And that's just weird. Like, we don't live in that kind of world, bro. Don't nobody want to. You know what I'm saying? Like, be held to unrealistic standards. Oh, it's going to be perfect. It could be great one day. And Bertha and all that stuff with this could be great. However, we have to um, we have to see it for what it is today. And for what it is today, there's a lot of unanswered questions. We think the dev exploited, right? The dev and his top influencer who's not making any more videos wonder why. It's weird. It's like weird stuff like that. You know what I'm saying? Like, where's, where's Slow's videos? Like, after he took that vacation, right after the exploit, right? What happened? We ain't hear nothing from him. Really, not that much. So that's all I'm trying to say. It's just, it's weird stuff going on. It's weird voodoo over there. And I just, I, you know what I'm saying? You got to leave that alone, bro, because somebody putting pins in the Muddy Mo doll right now. You know what I'm saying? They got that old, uh, y'all know about that Creole boy. They, hey, 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 I leave that alone. Hey, nope, nope, nope. Heck no. Nah. You know what I'm saying? Your uh, lady bit up like a pretzel. Like, what's going on? Wifey yelling at you. What's going on? I don't know. No, I'm just playing. Um, but no, that's... um. My elephant money, I think this is what I'm, I'm going to give you all the positives. What I really do like about elephant money, I think that Bert, he's right. I think Bertha is it. I think it's a example. This elephant treasure is an example on how you should do this kind of site. I think it's all set up. Um, the problem is I don't think the money's coming back. That's the issue. Um, it could be a perfect site. And Maytel has had, he already said what he think he said he think party's a perfect he thought that was a perfect contract right he thought that it was 50 people whatever people in it um promotion is everything that's why these guys need to treat influencers better and then not only just that they only stick to one kind of influencer this is the problem with devs i'm gonna tell you and this is i'm using them as an example but i gotta kind of say this because nobody understands this there's no personality right listen as a developer you think that people want to hear what you want to say about your project which is not wrong you true you want to know the details on what you're thinking in your project however there's more to that than we, that we want in the ama we don't just want to hear about all your plans and all the stuff the work you had to do it's more than that we are investors we need to know um we need to have a good feeling about you you know what i'm saying the reason why we can sit in a chair comfortably or we, you, you know what I'm saying? Whatever. You at the dinner table, you sit at a chair and you don't even worry about that chair breaking is because it has trust. You haven't built trust. This, this site has not built trust. And they've only, to be honest, they've only severed it. You put yourself against people and then you just, you know, alienating influencers. It's weird. All that weird activity don't help. So one thing y'all need to do, I'm just giving y'all the help because I want to help these people. You know what I'm saying? I want to help these people get back to pay. Because people going to be dumping. <laughs> like, listen, like I don't care if you call people paper hands. 95% of people in this contract going to have paper hands, bro. Everybody who's saying paper hands, half of them going to be selling too. So I don't want to hear no paper hands unless you're showing that you didn't sell. Period. And, you know, most of y'all don't have a public account. So it is what it is. Um, so, yeah, we don't want to hear no paper sales. But what y'all need to do, you, know, you guys need to have a different marketing approach, a completely different approach. Right now, what y'all doing is like... Um, I just don't think it's helping nothing. Like what? Like you talking to the same people. You have an AMA with less than hundred people. There's no way you should have an AMA with less than hundred people. You know what I'm saying? So uh, that's all I'm trying to say. Y'all need to get some promotion. Um, but I don't think the leadership they're gonna listen at all. You know what I'm saying? They're gonna do what they want to do. So as people, listen. Sometimes, like I said, it ain't about these devs. They don't know us, right? We run the space. We're not giving them our power. We want this to grow. We're gonna talk positive about it, and y'all need to build influencers. Whoever y'all top influencer is, and I don't really like none of y'all influencers right now. I ain't gonna lie to you. Y'all have really got some lame influencers. But y'all need to get some influencers over there that's gonna be able to bring and build and build bridges, bro. Not, not burn them down. Not tell them, tell the people in their comments how they can't say nothing bad against Elephant. Not that. That's not what it is. Not sit up here talking about 
um, I don't know what slow was talking about. You know what I'm saying? Like, not none of that. You need somebody every day on this site talking about what's going on publicly, not just on your AMAs, but don't nobody in your group. You need to have it on YouTube or something. All I'm gonna say. All right, the contract. One thing I'm okay, I gotta keep it moving. I'm looking at the clock. I got you, Zach. Zach, hold on. That's my dog, but listen, y'all see this right now, right? The pancake price. Um I don't know if this is going to go up. The one thing I would say that should be done, this is what I would do. If it was my site, if, you know, if I got exploited, whatever, the first thing I'm going to say is, you know what? It's my bad, y'all. It's on me. I'm the leader. I'm going to take this on the chin. I already said this to this dude. I'm going to take it on the chin. It's on me. I'm going to donate first. Boom. The next thing I'm going to do, okay, let me find out who all my people are who is in trunk staking. Let me reach out. Let me see how many of them actually want to leave. Because a lot of them don't believe in this elephant treasure. That's why they didn't get into Stampede. So you cannot punish people who didn't get into this contract for all of that. They got into this contract for this percentage. That's it. They And they, and they knew it was a 75% risk, but that was all. They didn't know that they were going to be under 75% at any point. So that is a bait and switch. So y'all need to figure that out. But what I would do is um, if people believe in the treasury, if you believe in the treasury, it's going to grow back. So I wouldn't even worry about that. If you got people that stampede and it's rolling, it's going to grow back anyway. I would pay them people back with the elephant treasury. It can be done. Will it be done? No, because people are selfish. They don't, they want to see this project win for them. And then, in my opinion, they want to see this project win to take it to another community. They don't even care about this community at all. Like, seriously, they, they're using this community almost. Oh, no, y'all got to give, y'all got to, no, we don't. Get another community. So it is what it is. I ain't repeat myself. Um, so the one thing I would do, like, again, I would pay out this elephant treasury, get all those people. I would give them, I wouldn't give them 100%. I will give them what they risk was 75% on the dollar, 75 cent on the dollar, and leave it at that. That's just what I would do. The biggest thing, the biggest thing, now he's not going to do this because he, this dude don't listen. Oh, uh, this is the new blah, 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 whatever, right? So I'm, I'm talking to the people because I just want to let y'all know there's other options. So whatever happens here, y'all know Muddy Mo gave positive options on what can happen. Um, what I think should happen, I think this dude should build bankroll flow again. You should build bankroll flow. Get out of your feelings, right? Oh, if it's perfect, it okay, perfect. It is. That doesn't mean you can have a separate contract, sir. So build a bankroll flow. I will call it peanuts, right? What does the elephant eat? Peanuts. I will call it peanuts, and it what it can do, it, it can feed, right? It can feed all the everything you want over here. It can feed it, but not only can it do that, it can help us feed ourselves. We love those type of contracts, sir. You didn't realize that? Like, I get it. You're trying something new. I get it. I told you multiple times, nobody cares about you. Oh, you're going to make so much money off referrals. Now, if this don't stay around, you need to have a MLM, sir, somewhere connected to this. Peanuts would be that. And like I say, it'd be almost just like drip. Take the good stuff that this dude took from you. You know what I'm saying? He did. He made some updates. You know what I'm saying? Forex, take that back. And then you could probably grow and get some influencers. And then a spoonful of sugar makes the medicine go down. Right, sir? Then they're going to be automatically introduced to this. Now, what I would do. Instead of a 10% that drip pays, right, into the uh, liquidity pool, until you need it just to build Bertha up, because that's all you need, right? Once you build Bertha up, everything good, right? Until you build Bertha up, I would have 5 to ten, five to 8% not going into that pool over there. That's going to build itself because people going to want to play. I would keep put that 5% into the elephant treasury until it gets to where it needs to be. What happens there? A. Everybody wins because we have another contract that we play with, right? Now, people who know how to use these contracts are going to jump in early and get their referral addresses out there. Not only just that, it's going to bring more people into elephant money, sir. This is free game. Next time, it's going to charge. I'm going to charge you. You know what I'm saying? Like, real talk. But look at the success of Drip. Stop thinking that you know a better way to get people. You don't know how to get people. You know how to do a, a contract really good. You don't know how to get people, though. Let me show you how to get people. That's what you do. Now, somebody, I think Craig Grant. <laughs> Craig, Craigery, <laughs> y'all know you should call him Craigery. All my OGs remember Craig Grant. Um, Craig Grant, he came on and said, to someone, "Hey man, you should do a uh, what was it like a FOMO style game?" I'm like, Craig, you come at after four years talking about a FOMO game? What are you talking? <laughs> I'm like, what are you talking about? We don't do them no more, and that's all a FOMO game. I ain't trying to go into that. All that is, is really a whale game, and one person wins, everybody else loses. So it, it I, I don't think that's gonna work here. You need something that can keep going. Now, also, y'all, Bank Teller not telling y'all the truth. He's not telling y'all the whole truth. What's going to happen 
when Bertha does get where he wants it to be, right? Once Bertha gets up to these, you know, ast astronomical numbers, the next thing that's going to happen is um, you're going to have an issue with the APR and the Stampede at 25% because that's set, and the APR up here. Um, what's going to happen is it's going to be too much of an overflow of reflex uh, rewards. I'm not getting into the nerd stuff today, but there's going to be too much of a, of a reflex reward um, base here. And then you're going to decentivize people from getting to Stampede. Um, you're going to decentivize them by having a high APR on trunk staking, if that makes sense. So, so having peanuts or whatever that other contract would be um, would eliminate you having this high APR on trunk staking and then uh, decentivizing Stampede. So basically, you'll have another place, another contract for your overflow reflect rewards to go into and build for the people. Whoo! All right, y'all. That's it, man. I didn't gave. Hey, you like that? Don't just hide peanuts. Hey, y'all know how muddy is. Y'all know how muddy is. I, hey, I'm creative, bro. Here's what it is. Uh, G70 Sports. Shout out, welcome, my dude. He say, um, he say, yeah, slow always on vacation after exploit. He was on vacation at the reactor high. Yep, yep. And I'm trying to stay in a positive space, but you're not wrong, sir. You are not wrong. I'm not going to tell you you're wrong at all. Cookies and Crypto say, uh, we got to fix stuff, all right? Peanuts. Yes, sir. It's peanuts, bro. You got to feed that elephant. You want to feed Bertha? Thanks, tell her, Tony. You need to come on, holler at me, get an unstripped AMA. I'll give you this game. I just gave you free public game, sir. So it is what it is. All right. Last thing, and I'm bringing on Zach, is I'm going to open up the floor. Zach, let me get, I'm going to get you a good intro and all that. So I got you. Hold on. All right, last thing I got to talk about is Drip. Somebody been waiting like, hey, man, you take it all day. <laughs> Get back to Drip. I don't want to hear about that. Get back to Drip. All right, I got y'all. Now, um, Drip is in a peculiar position. I, I don't want to hear I know he got a lot of plans. I, this guy, Forex, if one thing I can say he is, he is surely a dreamer. You know what I'm saying? And uh, just like the people I was talking about, the Grand Theft Auto people that just don't have no point in life, at least this dude got some point. Like, he got a direction he want to go. Like, you know what I'm saying? He got a lot of dreams. Um, We need to slow down and do things one at a time. Though. You know what I'm saying? We got faucet juggling this and Animal Farm. And that's cool. Um, But I still think um the major issue in, you know, uh, Juice Man brought this up um about Drip Network. Now, people argue. And also, y'all see that Drip Balance? I'm going to get, I got y'all. I, I ain't going to do it on, I'll probably do it on camera a little bit later. But, uh, yeah, I got the airdrops for y'all in Drip, too. Um. But one of the things that um, I think Drip does really well, I told y'all, it's been the best project for bringing new influencers into the space. We need new influencers. We do need them, all right? So, um, and people still build on the scene and naming their channels after them. That's a good sign. So I like that about Drip. I think Drip has a very strong foundation. Uh, what I mean by that, you have a lot of top influencers. Um, some people have neglected other sites just to talk about this. And when it's something that popular, it can't be ignored. You know what I'm saying? Like, let me give you an example. Back when I was growing up, dating myself again, um, we didn't wear tight pants. We, as a matter of fact, we were the exact opposite of these kids. We didn't wear tight clothes at all. You know what I'm saying? Everything was 3X. We used to go to JC Penny's. Shout out to y'all who know what I'm talking about. JC Penny's get that three pack for like, I forgot how much it costs. $29.99, something like that. Them thick white tees, bro. That's what we wore. You feel me? So all I'm saying that to say is that Things change and people have different styles of personalities. This contract has done a good job of getting some influencers on board. Um, also, another thing. Now, he talks about a lot of updates and a lot of things that's going to be happening. And I get that. I'm not a fan of the scratch offs at all. And I'll tell you all why in a second. I think that's trash. Um, a lot of other stuff he's doing might be okay. The loan stuff might be cool. Um, but the one thing that can be done ASAP, which I don't understand what the wait is for. It's like it's, things are being dragged out is the UI on Drip Network. It's already been shown months ago. What's the wait for? Like, this is, I, I guess, you know, the, the faster you get the UI up, Forex, the faster this site can keep growing, bro, the faster people can still talk about Drip. Because right now, what you have is anybody who got into Drip in the last couple months are not having a good time. Anybody who got in in 2021 is most likely having a good time. So you have to find a way to mend that bridge. Um, and only you can do that. Um, so I'm going to keep it moving. Um, uh, one thing that you need to get, uh, drip is, um, I think you need to get a replacement for, I, know, I like how you use and trying to find use cases for the drip token. You need to get a replacement for the scratch offs. I don't think that's going to work. I don't care if you got NFTs with it. It's too much, bro. It's a whole other project. Like we don't, we don't want to strategize for another project. You know what I'm saying? Like get these working good. And then we, you know, then we'll go there. 
Um, but I think the scratch offs, if it ain't too late, it might be. I think y'all spent the money already. But scratch offs need to go. I don't think that's gonna work. Not to bring new people in at least. Um, and then another thing is um definitely get the UI. I already said that. Now, the biggest thing, the biggest issue with drip is the whale wallets, right? Now, I'm I get that they say, hey, we friendly whales, we're not gonna dump on you. I get that. And you know, I don't, you know, at the money crypto movement, we ain't we don't trust people. <laughs> we trust you, but we don't trust you. Then. We got the L, we can give us give you an elbow. We can't we ain't gonna give you a handshake, we get elbow. We trust you, but we don't trust you like that. So all I'm saying is, is there has to be something else. Now, what I think should be should be happening to these whale wallets and all these uh these max wallets, I think they should keep what they have. I think that they've been good um leaders for this project i think all the the whales that's in it has been good leadership i mean they listen they don't even talk about other projects no more they don't even think they influence they just drippy <laughs> they drippies that's it they don't care about nothing else you know what i'm saying so um this is where they are you know so i i would say let them keep their whatever wallets they got let them keep everything you have to do a v3 of this for us it shouldn't take long it should not take more than a day, you know what I'm saying? But but you should do a V3. And with that V3, what you need to do, and I'm not going to show your account, but what you need to do, I see what you're doing with your account, right? I'm never going to sell drip. I get it. You only hold it and compound it. And I think that's what you're looking to, to shrink the drip token price, if I'm not mistaken, which is okay. I think that's noble. The OA is the same. Elephant Treasury is the same. I get it. But what you need to do is just like I told Bitcoin Brown with Splasso, you got to get a stint in here to get a mega whale. Maybe, and I don't know, I'm not a I'm not a programmer, so I don't know about how to do this, right? But maybe what you could do is um create it to where it's or get some kind of I don't know, some to where it's yours wallet can just keep growing and drip or get to a certain number of drip. So you can assure that certain drip is going to be taken out the system. Because right now it's cool to have a lot of whales, but without a mega whale. Is no, it's hard to find a way for everybody to win. Does that make sense? Because right now your whales winning. They're not, they're very happy. That's cool. That's very good to keep them happy. However, going forward, you're gonna have some people that hold on now. And it's price keep going down. You know what I'm saying? They they're gonna have that, that feeling. So you have to make sure you accommodate uh, for something to make sure that more people can be a part of your contract and enjoy it and make gains. And to me, the best thing you already stole from the dude before. There's nothing wrong with it because you made it better, all right. Do the same thing. Still, still Bertha or still the idea of it. It's not going to be the same. And find a way to get a stint into this contract with the same, you know, ba drip balances and all that. And then you cook with grease. You know what I'm saying? Then you cook it with Crisco. That's my granny used to cook with. She cooked with that Crisco. Y'all know about that Crisco. Okay. So that is Drip Network. That is how to fix passive elephant money and drip. So I don't want to hear nothing about no fuddy mo. <laughs> Y'all know what I'm saying? Like, this was all muddy today. I was nice. Pretty much nice. So y'all know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm trying to help the people. All right. Uh, G7 say, you know, Drip has been working good for me and the farms. That's what's up, bro. Man, you on late, bro. Yeah, we, hey, got to check the, hey, we was in the chat, Brian. We changed it up, bro. 7 p.m. now. Uh, Central is 8, 8 Eastern. We starting later. I'm, my bad, B. Brian, like, no, bro. I don't know, bro. We, it's just more, we can fit more people in at this time, bro. More people like it, so. Um, it's all good. We'll adjust. All right. Now, I told y'all what the Muddy Crypto Movement. Shout out to the Muddy Crypto Movement, man. Also, you're watching the DeFi Degenerate Show with Muddy Mo. Please make sure y'all hit that like. Don't come in here and don't hit that like. Ain't nobody else watching if y'all hit the like. So, I'm just saying. All right. I told y'all the Muddy Crypto Movement, man. We moving, man. It's the movement. We're growing. And not just that, y'all don't want to hear me talking all day. Y'all want to hear some other people talking um so shout out to zach he's from the movement um he just came in the other day he's like look man i got a story to tell you. he told us a story we were very inspired um and y'all see i had brian on the other day we want to bring different people on different users that actually go through this stuff like we do um, to actually talk about you know these projects and not just that one thing that i like to hear is because i know when i came in i, I came in early but a lot of y'all came in after me and i want to hear y'all's story like how did y'all get to where y'all got did you get wrecked or did you get rich? <laughs> Not you only got to say the numbers, but you know what I'm saying? Are you doing okay? Um, so right before I bring him on, this is Zach from the group. Zach, welcome to the show, man. Welcome to the Divi hey. Generous Show with Muddy Mo. How you doing, man? I'm good, man. How you doing? Good, good, bro. Hold on. Let me make sure I can. Can y'all hear Zach? Please let me know if y'all can hear Zach. Can y'all hear him? 
I can put my face right up in it if it helps. Uh, let me see. Let me see. It might be me. Hold on. Y'all know how my computer do. Hold on. Hold on. Can y'all hear Zach? Can y'all hear him? Can y'all hear him? Hey guys. Okay, Zach, I can hear you. Go ahead, man. All right. Yeah. How are you doing, man? Good. Doing well? Man, doing well, man. Same as every day, man. Doing DeFi. That's it, you know? Yep. Now, Zach, you must be at work or something. You at work? Yeah, man. I, uh, I'm in the kitchen right now. I, uh, I manage a restaurant for my, that's my day job. Okay. Okay. I liked it. I liked it. That's a buddy Mo B checking in from the gig. I love it, man. I love it. And you, I see you got that beard going too, Zach. Okay. Okay. I see you. I see you. Cool. Yeah, cool. I'm, I'm, oh, thanks, Brian. Thanks for letting me know you can hear him. Okay. So, you know, Zach, we, man, we happy to have you on, man. You just told, man, your story was just so great, man. Um, so I'm gonna shut up, man. I'm gonna open up the floor. Y'all, if y'all have questions, I'm gonna be in the chat. If y'all have questions, feel free to, to ask or, or come on. But Zach, if you would, man, tell us how you got to where you are. Um, and then if you want, I think your main subject, you want to talk about Hex and Pulse. Um, I'll go through the screens with you while you talk. Um, but please, man, tell the people your story, man. Yeah, so, uh, I mean, I like, like a lot of people, I totally like heard about Bitcoin probably like around when it came out. And I was like, oh, that's interesting. But like, I didn't, I didn't know which rabbit hole to go down, you know, and I was just like, whatever. I didn't think about it. And I think I like, didn't really hear much about it until 2017 when it was like 20K. Um, and I was like, well, that sounds really interesting, but still like there wasn't, there wasn't like a door around me opening, you know, where like somebody I trust would like kind of show me the way, you know? Okay. Um, okay. Okay. You go down. Is that you, you so 2017, you heard of Bitcoin, right? Oh, uh, I mean, I heard, I heard it probably like 2012, 2013 or something. Oh, you were but, early. Okay. But I didn't, I didn't act on it. You know, I never, I never got in. Like nobody, nobody showed me the way to do it, you know? So I just kind of sat on the sidelines and then heard about it in 2017 when it was like 20 K. Okay. Um, but, uh, like 20, 2021, like about a year ago, April, uh, one of my buddies kept posting little bits of alpha on his Instagram. And I was like, yo, like, I know you from like high school, like, what's up? Like, how, how do I get in this? Um, right let me in man <laughs> yeah exactly and like so he brought me in he started like a little alpha chat on instagram uh he brought me into and right. the first play i jumped on was safe moon <laughs> oh <laughs> yeah oh geez hey shout out had, to that man put that in the chat y'all remember safe moon go ahead zach <laughs> So yeah, I, I don't know. Like, I didn't know what a wallet was. I didn't know what a chain was, you know, I was just like, how do I get my money in this thing? So I watched a YouTube video. I threw like, I threw like 250 in, watched it go to 1250, watched mm. it go to seven. And then like got, I, I sold like most of it. And then I got wrecked trading shit coins, like just hopping in and out of positions, but like not wrecked. I mean, I got, I think I, I made like 50 bucks total and then just kind of mm. like, left it you know but like then got on coinbase um now you say then, Zach, that was from trading though right yeah you said you got kind of got wrecked trading or just broke, kind of broke even yeah i mean i i just like hopped in the different shit coins that my friends were talking about and gotcha. didn't ride didn't didn't ride the pump the right way i didn't know what any of it was you know like i was just like i was just pressing buttons kind of um gotcha but and then i started doing the same thing on coinbase and it was fine but then i made like I made a couple, uh, I made like a two X on the Ethereum classic run. Um, okay. could have been a three X, but you know, I said, I like got greedy, didn't take it and then took the two. Um, but like, then I was hooked, you know, it's been, I've seen my money do things at this point. Yep. Like, this is real. This is real. I, if I can figure it out. Um, yeah. but a little bit later, you know, I did, I kind of just like tabled everything. The crash in May happened. And I was like, you know what? I'll like keep reading about it, but I don't really know enough to play this side mm -hmm. of it. Um, but I was at the farmer's market uh, with my son's mom. She has a stand. She does like bakery kind of stuff. Um, okay. Just sitting, hanging out. And her friend Josh comes and says like, hey, what's up? And then I'm talking to her and I joke that she should – except like safe moon as a payment, you know, just kidding. Cause at that point I'm like, safe moon's probably going to go to zero or whatever. Right. Right. <laughs> but, um, as a joke, but then her friends, like, he's like, Oh, like crypto, like I'll talk about crypto. And 
we start talking, but then he's like, he's just like, the only projects he wants to talk about are Hex and then Pulse Chain. Mm. Um, now, when was this? this? When was this? June, early June, like uh, first Last couple year. Okay. Days of June. So like a gotcha. month, month and a half before the sacrifice. Gotcha. Um, yeah. And he's like, there's going to be a sacrifice coming. I'm going to send you information, like do it, fit what you will, like, but and then he like he just kind of alluded to the fact that he like he's in his early 30s too and mm -hmm. he doesn't work anymore you know he See? he's good See? Off, he's good off hacks and yep. um i was now like, real quick real quick zach did y'all hear that zach just said he in his 30s he don't work no more it's a lot of hexagons a lot of people that believe that don't work no more that's that, i told y'all hex sorry zach go ahead man and I believe I believe in things happening for a reason, like, you know, attracting attracting what you want. And like for me, like I've been I've been trying to find like that the person that could show me the way. And I just like you know, like I got that sparkly feeling, you know, when you feel like something's meant to be. Um, okay, there you go. And so I, he sent me the Telegram links. I hop in. I start educating myself a little bit. Um, then like kind of forget about it for two weeks. But he texts me. And he's like, hey, the sacrifice started, bro. And I was like, oh, oh, okay. Like, And then so I figure out how to get all my different crypto liquidity together. There you um, go. Pulled into one thing. I figure out what a MetaMask is. I send my stuff to MetaMask. Like, I don't, at this point, I don't know like what chains are. You know, I'm just, I'm still kind of fussing around, but I got my sacrifice in. I sacrificed like all my crypto and I put, some more so you went all in, pulse, all in. Yeah, all in yep. pulse, and then, uh, then I start learning more about hex because I like, I just kind of like, all I knew was this guy who doesn't work anymore told me like this is the <laughs> fucking move. Is, sorry yep. for my my yep. things there. Um, Are you good, man? Yeah, but um, so I, I aped into that, and then uh, over the next couple of weeks, you know, I bought a I bought a hex bag. Um, okay. Right before it ran up from like I bought it at like twelve cents and then uh, watched it run up to like fifty, and then okay. I think I, I think I bought like most of my hex at this point at like forty one cents. But I like really, I'm, I'm not sweating it. And I, I DCA'd a little bit after that. Um, okay, are you staked and, out? You staked out? Yeah, uh, okay. two to fifteen years. Okay, yeah, you good, you good. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Um, and I at that point too, like you know, like. I didn't know when Pulse Chain was coming out, so I felt this sense of urgency to buy Hex before the mm -hmm. fork, because um, I wanted my copies, you know. Um, yep. But so I staked out, um, and then at that point, like, I, I mean, I like I, I moved my, I, I grabbed money out of my IRA to put mm. money, you know, I, okay. I, like, I got creative in how I'm going to get money out. Um, but then, so I, I, I made, I build my ladder out to 15 years. There and then go. I've got I've got some liquidity, but you know nothing's really popping out. And then I don't know. I think I followed like a Cryptozoa, like drip ad, okay. or yep. off Medium, and uh, saw drip. And I'd seen it. I'd seen the ad like maybe a couple months before, but like ignored it. But then like I, I got I went into the Strape chat. You know the Strape chat in the Hex yeah. community. Yeah. <laughs> And I was like, because because no one's gonna kick you out for talking about other projects there. Right. There you go. Yep. <laughs> So I go in and I'm like, hey, any of you in Drip? And then like instantly a bunch of guys are like, yeah, best decision of my life. Okay. Um, and <laughs> I was go. like, all right, like, you know what? I'm going to go in the chat. I'm going to see. And then actually one of the guys in the original Instagram chat that I'm in, that I know in real life from years ago, he's like, yeah, I got in. I got in in Drip and like, I'm happy. I'm like, all mm. right. You know, so I thought see? about it. I thought about my plan. I, I put a bag in uh, early December um at like 28 and okay. then uh bought myself a few brief and okay. watch, then then watched the rise up to like 190 in um, january yep yeah i was just planning on uh hydrating for like a year but you know at the top mm -hmm. i claimed i roi'd i sold my brief because nice. i wasn't really planning on building a team okay um, and I, so i roi'd in like a month nice uh, see you, that's perfect timing too some say yeah. i looked up i call it perfect timing you know what i'm saying that's perfect timing yeah um and then so after that like drip kind of went down and i just started hydrating again you know 
And then my friend hit me up, and actually I forgot to mention this when I told, but my friend hit me up uh, when Splashive launched, and that was the first other thing I invested in. Um, okay. After drip, and I was just like, okay, yeah, screw it, you know, I'll I'll put some in, you know, and yeah, I got in at six and watched it go up to, I think it topped out at like fifty. But, yeah, it jumped up. I think yeah, in the money so, fifth movement, I forgot what we got in at y'all. I think yeah. we got in at about four or five dollars, something like that. Yeah. Yep. So I ROI'd on Splashive in like a week or two. There you go. Whatever. And then so I mean I'm so still you got getting... a lot of goods, man. You you came right. in at a perfect time. It sounded like I'm just gonna recap it. So it sounded like you came in, you the first thing you did was got in the pulse. You just make sure you sacrifice. Then you got you some hex. Hey, I need some hex. I love those moves. Those two moves, I like those moves. And then yeah. even better, you said, let me jump into this a little bit. It's probably like me, you were bored. Like we waiting on Pulse and you know what I'm saying? Like it's been a, those y'all don't know, it's been, uh, we coming up on yeah. a year and we've just been waiting. And I mean, so like, and uh, it had kind of taken me, like it took me a little bit to warm up to other projects. Cause you know, Richard Hart, he's like, it's all crap. You know, it's right. all just, yep. that's just you know, so like, but you know, I was curious and like, I want to play around and, you know, and you know, I've got Hex, I've got Pulse Chain, you know, like if I lose my money, you know, like, I've got that. I've got a safe, a safety over there. But um, you know what's dope, Zach? You right now you're spending dividends, and that's what I'm trying to get everybody to understand. Yep. Spending dividends. We don't have to spend our principal, especially what we're doing at DGN. You know, you mentioned drip too. Like, I mean, all these projects are allowing us to get dividends every day. I love it, man. Keep going. Yep. Um, so then I like I got a little bit more confident and bought into a couple projects that didn't really do that well but like i didn't did ever put like much in them um right. and uh my friend uh the same friend that told me about splash have told me about silicium I, okay. I i just flipped that and dumped it real quick and made some money um right before all the glitches happened and it just tanked which was really fortunate so how are you how are you catching when to sell i think that's a good question that people want to know how are you catching it but then, but then I got in an elephant at fourteen cents per million, and then rode the wave up to sixty, and then sold at the top right before it crashed. See, like, you, you're doing it right. <laughs> you're doing it um, right. And then, like you know, I I built my position in Stampede, and like you know, you know yep. where we're at with that. Um, yep, yep, yep. So like, uh, I mean, I lost, I lost some money in. Uh, this farming protocol that I jumped in that one, my one, a guy on my drip team said he knew the devs. Like, I mean, okay. and I, I, I didn't really know how to play that. So like I could have probably, now, what was the name of it? Could have probably ROI, but I played it too. I thought I was caught up on the percentage when really the percentage doesn't really matter. If the token There you go. I'm glad you said that real quick. Zach. I'm just going to say this to the people. Um, you hear what he just said. You know, sometimes, especially once you start getting things rolling, the percentage, you think the percentage is everything. And Zach had a good point. It's not all the time, man. You got to make sure the context around. That's a big thing. Go ahead, Zach. I, I keep cutting you off, man. My bad. Yeah, no, you're fine. And I mean, if the contract, if the contract's going down uh, and you're getting less percent per day, then you're getting price depreciate. You're losing money. And, yep. you know, you might as well be part of the people who are dumping that price down to ROI mm -hmm. and then, you know, yep. play around once you make your ROI, ROI, like ROI every time. <laughs> yep. Every um, time. All right. So Zach, we got, so I got you, your big three is pulse. Hey, I get everybody's big three. Your big three is pulse, hex and drip, right? Yeah. Okay. Good. Good. Cool, That's man. Cool. Well, I appreciate you sharing your, listen, man, we appreciate that story because like a lot of people got in earlier. A lot of people got in after you, and they all over the place. So, I mean, some of the things that you said is, like, really important. Now, I know you had some Hex advice. You know, you was ready to talk to us about Hex yesterday, man. Tell me what I don't know about Hex. Pause all that. Teach us, man. I mean, the biggest uh, – maybe not the biggest thing, but one thing that I don't think people realize is that that payout per T-share is going to mm -hmm. go up over time exponentially. Okay. Because – Hex inflates at 3.69% per year, but yeah. the amount of hex that's inflated, that 3.69% is inflating from, gets bigger yeah. every year. So, But your share, once you lock in your T-shares, your share of that interest is going to be the same no matter how much the interest is. So mm -hmm. if you lock in a T-share today, the price of T-shares is going to continue to go up. 
Yep. So it's going to be harder and harder and harder to get that same T-share for other people. So if you stake out long, you've got a T-share that is going to get the same amount of that 3.69%. But that that amount, especially once we get out to like four or five, six years, is going to start to climb up. Yep. And it's going to pound on itself. And once you get to like seven, eight, nine, ten, like you could look like right now, it's about like a little bit over, a little bit over, a little bit under six percent, uh, like or six hex per t share per day. You're looking at like 16, 19, 20 years. Like you're looking at like, and at that point, with like that many years of price appreciation, that that's hmm. something. You yep. Know? Oh, yeah. So longer, hey, I'm like, glad you brought that up. See, and I'm, yeah, I know I'm, I'm in hex, but. I love for she's how the users have different perspectives. I, I forget about stuff like t-shirts, but he's right. Um, he's basically saying the amount of t-shirts you get um, over time is going to just become more valuable, just because we know the hex is going to, you know, have the percentage and everything like that. So he said it more eloquent than me, <laughs> but no, he's exactly right. I love it. I love it, man. Keep going, Zach. You can you can still teach me, bro. You can, you can teach the crowd, bro. Yeah, what else, man? Give us a secret, another secret tip you got. Do you have any staking strategies on Hex? Um, so I have, I have one stake releasing every year. Um, I skipped, I skipped one year, okay. but I started at two. So I have a two, a three, a four, a five, a six, a seven, an eight, a nine, and then I think I go like eleven, twelve, fourteen, fifteen. So not quite every year, but um. I, I kind of went heavier on the long too. Um, mm. I did I did some heavier stakes in the short term just to kind of mitigate like that because I mean you don't really know what's going to happen in 15 years. But um, to me, the upside potential of believing is way higher than the downside potential of not. Or okay. you know, so mm -hmm. I I had faith, you know, and I took the leap because I mean I didn't I I put in. I went all in, but like I'm, I'm still pretty young, and for me, like going all in, I'm recoverable from that. It's not like I like had built up a retirement for twenty, thirty years and then put it all in, you know? Right, um, right. So it's to be honest, I, it's like I put in like one third of my yearly income, so like that's not that dangerous to me, and mm -hmm. I can live, I can live frugally if I need to, but for the chance of go. like for the chance of life changing wealth, worth it. Um, love it man love it 100%. yep so zach man we, we've run short on time but man listen i appreciate you you know you're in the, you're, you're in the muddy crypto movement bro you're always welcome come back man i'm gonna have you come back up sometime cool because your story and then you know about hex man i need more people that know about hex pulse and all that bro so uh, come i come back I, man i i have to say too like i've spent like between hex pulse chain and pulse x Mostly X and Pulse Chain. I haven't learned as much about Pulse X, but I understand it. Like, I've got the game theory down. I understand why it works. Um, oh, and also, uh, just shout out to Liquid Loans. I forgot to mention, along the way, I became uh, an admin in the Liquid Loans chat when they were still, like, under... They had a couple hundred members in the chat at that point. But um, I've learned a lot from those guys, too, and some perspective. Uh, okay. And you said that's Liquid that's Loans? Okay, no, no, no. We're gonna end it today, Zach. I'm gonna bring you back up to talk about liquid loans. <laughs> Cause okay. I need help with that for real. Yeah, so yeah. cool, man. <laughs> yeah, so yeah, I, I'll reach out to you in the chat, man. Again, thank you for coming up, yeah. man. Um, uh, always good to have a good uh vet user, man. Yep. I will say, uh, just like uh I don't know if you're excited enough about liquid loans. If it if it all works out, which like if there's a team that make if there's a team that makes a WIP project that's gonna work out. I can't say like about like, but I I just feel bullish, man. On on liquor loans. Yeah. Got you. We are gonna have to talk about that in, in the chat because I gotta I gotta catch up on liquor loans. I'm behind. So. Yeah. I'll I'll bring you up to speed, man. Cool, cool, man. All right, well, appreciate, man. Y'all give Zach a hand. I wish I had. I don't have sound effects yet, Zach. I'm gonna give them though, man. But appreciate you, man. Right on. Yeah, Ty say great guest. Yeah, that was a great guest, man. And liquid loans. Now, look, I told you I'm still learning. I don't know. Listen, I don't know a lot of this stuff. I'm still learning, too. Um, but, yeah, shout out to Zach, man. Um, but, yeah, we're going to have to bring him back on and talk about liquid loans. Um, again, we've been so focused on drip and all this stuff over there. We forget about stuff like liquid loans and, and all that. So I want to know more. Uh, so, yeah, shout out to now. Look, 
I told y'all, man, that's what the muddy crypto movement is. I thought I was playing. This is for the people. Who else get to hear people's stories? Don't nobody want to hear about me all day. <laughs> Y'all want to hear from the people. So shout out to Zach, man. Shout out to all the previous guests I done had too. Uh, Brian on. I need Smock back. I need to get a real from you, Smock. I need to get a real one. Stank, I need you on, bro. I need to get that, that whole, I want the true story. You know what I'm saying? I need everybody big three. I want to know everybody big three. But all in all, bro, this is what we're trying to do. We're trying to build the space. Y'all see how we are. And then y'all see how the Muddy Crypto movement, bro. We're flexible. Listen, we can change our minds. <laughs> if they have changed the contract, we can change our minds. It is what it is. Um, so, yeah, so we out here influencers, we keeping our power. And not only just that in the Muddy Crypto movement, bro, we're talking about how we're getting daily gains all over the place. All right, so come check us out, man. I mean, I'm not just saying that, bro. It's really good people, really good people. All right, man, I'm going to let y'all go, man. Y'all y'all listen. We're going to come back tomorrow, man. Y'all come back, man. Come back. All right? Y'all want to hear more? Stay tuned. Beep.